Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Get To It. This time I'll be showing you how to record a video using OBS Studio, a webcam and a separate external microphone on your computer. Okay, I don't think you're quite picturing the context, so let's see if I can help with that. Imagine this bear is you and you want to record the video from the webcam synchronized with audio being recorded from the Blue Yeti microphone on the desk. This is what I'll be teaching you how to do today. Let's get started by downloading OBS Studio. Download and install the OBS Studio software from obsproject.com. I'll put the link in the description below. This works with all major operating systems, Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Once you have installed the application, make sure your microphone and webcam are plugged into the computer and launch OBS. Okay, welcome to OBS Studio. So what you need to know to set up your webcam and external microphone video is that this panel at the top is your stage. This is where the video that you'll be recording will be displayed. And you need to add two sources to your scene. To add a source, click on the plus at the bottom and go to audio input capture. Give that source a name, let's call this mic. And then select from the drop down list the microphone you want to use. For me, it's the Yeti Stereo microphone. Click OK. Now, this is good. I can see that when I start recording, this will work because my microphone is picking up the audio that I am currently speaking. Next up, we need to add the webcam. So to add a camera, you need to add a video capture device. So let's call this camera. Now, for me, my camera is plugged in as you can see with the through the Elgato capture card. So this is a, an HDMI cable coming out of my camera and going into my Elgato capture card. You can also pick your webcam here. The settings that I mention next are the same for both. My webcam looks like this. It's kind of terrible. Um, so we won't be using my webcam in this video. But as I say, the settings are exactly the same. What you want to do is set the custom resolution, pick the resolution you want, mine is 1920 by 1080, and you want it to match the output FPS, so that's fine. If you don't have this, it will do a best guess for you, and you can also manually pick if you want. Quite often, I will select just the 60, and by doing that, it means that I know for sure that the camera will be capturing at the same frame rate that my video will record at later on. I like to go with the full colour range, although it does make things occasionally look a little bit duller. You can fix this in post if you want, it's better to have it. And then disable buffering. If you don't disable buffering, you're going to have a bad time. The reason we do this is that if you allow buffering from the camera, it allows it to break the synchronization from the audio coming from the microphone. And then this camera actually doesn't output audio through HDMI, so there's no chance of any audio being captured. But if your microphone from your webcam did capture audio, then you set that to capture audio only, and I can show you how to capture that audio in a future video. Let's go to OK. OK, so before we start recording, which would be the next step, um, let's make sure that our settings are correct in OBS. The first thing you want to do is go to video and check that your base and output resolution match the input resolution of your camera so that it's full screen. And for me, this is 1920 by 1080, so that's all looking good. Again, you want to try and match the FPS value for your video with the input FPS from the camera. So again, you'll see I've selected 60 here. Next, go into audio and I always make sure my audio is recording at 48 kilohertz in stereo. Next, go to the output tab, go to recording, and make sure that the recording path is where you want your videos to be stored when they're filmed, and that your format is MP4. I do recommend MP4 because the future videos that we do on the OBS Studio will use this format for some of the special advanced tooling that we will show you. When you go to rate control, and I won't explain the background to this, but you want to select CBR. And for a 1080 video for YouTube, you want to set your bitrate to 16,000 at the very least. And your CPU usage should be set to very fast. Just accept that these are recommended settings. And finally, go into your audio and make sure that your audio bitrate that you're recording at is 320. 
now that all the settings are in and we can see that the microphone is recording, we can see that the camera is there, the final step is to obviously start recording. As if by magic, I will now switch from the recording of viewing OBS to what OBS is currently recording. And what you will see is that you have a fully synchronized 60 FPS, 1080p video being recorded in OBS through uh, a webcam or uh, in my instance, it's a mirrorless camera and an external audio input. So I hope this video helped you. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and you can always subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.